having got only two or four. They were thrashed by the Dubai Giants yesterday who achieved the highest total of the season so far. Each match is a must win now with teams competing for the top two spots for the finale. Hello everyone and warm welcome to the Palikale International Stadium for the match number 17 coming up Punjab Royal versus Kandy Sampami. Let's show you the points table. It is now at a very critical stage. New York strikers have gone back to the top eight points with a superior net run rate. Dubai Giants are tied on points, but that run rate is low. But look at where Punjab Royal and Candy Sump Army are at. They're both at a minus net run rate. Punjab Royal has six points and Candy Sump Army has just four. Thing is here, Roshan, is that Punjab, if they get a big win here tonight, they go to eight points. But obviously their net run rate is not as good. But a win here tonight puts them in contention. No doubt indeed. So time for the toss. Let's go across and join H.D. Ackerman. A must-win game for both these sides in order to stay alive. To start here, I've got uh, Brendan Kurupu, the, the match referee. Double 100 on test debut, I'll have you know. Aaron Finch, the captain of the Candy Sump Army. And Tilakaratni Dilshan, the captain of the Punjab Royal. Dilshan, up it goes. Head. Heads is the call. Is a call. Head it is. Ooh, it ball is ball. a head. Aaron, what are you going to do first and why? Uh, we're just going to have a bowl first. We feel as though the wicket gets better and better as the night goes on. So uh, a little bit of dew later on and skid on, hopefully. Must win game for you guys, but net run rate's going to come into it, even if you do pull off the win. So does that come into consideration when playing tonight? Yeah, you have to take that into account if you're going to stay alive in the tournament. We've copped a, a fair hiding last game, so that affects your net run rate. So it's, uh, yeah, just try and get yourself into a position to win the game and, and do it as well as you can. Yourself and Kevin seem to be playing really well at the top of the order. What about the rest? I mean, do they know that they need to step up here? Yeah, obviously it would have been nice for me to get a few more runs as well, a few starts, but not quite going on and getting the big scores. But, um, I mean, in a game like this, there's only 90 balls. Everyone's prepared to go hard early, so there's always that risk-reward. It was an absolute battlefield on the ground here last night, mm. people falling around everywhere. Have you got 11 for tonight? We've only got 11, so oh. that's all that matters. Oh, all right, all the best. Thanks, mate. Good luck, dude. Dilshan, as I said to Aaron, must-win game for, for you guys and that net run rate comes into it as well. Is that something that you're going to look after when you bat first? Yeah, definitely. We, we had to bat first first 90 balls. Then we had to uh, look uh, how we're going to defend that total. Uh, Wicket is look very good. Yesterday, uh, batted really, both teams uh, bat really well. I think hopefully uh, we can put some runs in the board, can uh, defend uh, whatever we get uh, in the board. Uh, my plan to play an extra spinner and might be help for the second second half. Are you are you coming out of retirement soon? Because I tell you what, you, you haven't failed once here. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, I retired 2016. But a little bit I'm going on and off. I'm playing uh, in Australia, some uh, county, uh, some league cricket, uh, once a month, one game, keep fit going on. Uh, to the, but the thing is, a lot of legends is happening uh, all around the world. I'm um, planning to play all the uh, leagues. Uh, might be still I want to keep fit, at least can go two more years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not going to keep you long. Off you go. Good luck. Thank Good you. luck tonight. Thank right, you. so the Sump Army, they've won the toss. They're going to bowl first. Right, so that's very interesting indeed. Candy Sump Army wanting to chase here, but Dilshan very confident uh, of wanting to have a score on the board and defend. Let's take a look at the two teams. i got Alan Wilkins with me. Yeah, Dilshan Namanoja, he's short of runs actually, Namanoja. Dwayne Smith also needs to get a score tonight. Dilshan Munawira, Anton Devsic, the New Zealander, Cameron White from Australia. Monty Panesar, the left arm spinner, Javon Searles. Sri Santh, been a little expensive. Upal Indrasiri, the left arm spinner, Siddharth Trivedi, is the seamer. And for the Kandi Samba Army, well, you heard Aaron Finch saying there, they've only got 11 because everyone's uh, missing ill or whatever. Kevin O'Brien with Finch at the top with Jonathan Fu, Jessel Karia, Rahul Yadav. Rahul Shukla is the quick bowler. Uh, Trevon Griffith, John Russ, Jagisar bowls off spin. Vikas Tokas is a new face. He's from Delhi. He bowls right arm fast medium. Navin Stewart. Well, he's actually been going in at three in the order. Navin Stewart's been batting at three, but he bowls as well. And Lahiru Jairatni. Uh, Lahiru Jairatni, I am not sure, Roshan. He's a right arm medium fast bowler. Thank you very much indeed for no mention. Candy Sambami have won the toss and they're going to bowl first. Right, the surface was very good even this afternoon and uh, 
Oh, I can't see anything different. This is the surface pitch number five here, Wilco, and it has looked quite good. Yeah, I think, honestly, I say this, and, and a full credit to the ground staff and to the head the head ground uh, groundsman. He has produced some belters because it's been fearfully hot. 35, 36 centigrade mm. uh, daily here. Mm. So, he, you know, he's got to water it at night and prepare it early, early morning. Candy Sump Army, they've won the toss. They're going to bowl first here, Roshan. And, um, well, it is a huge, it's a huge game, this, for the P Punjab Royal, because they can actually get to eight points, and they can threaten the leaders in the table. Remember, it's the top two teams who qualify, and this is why, you know, obviously for Candy Sump Army, um, they'll get to six but if Punjab Royal get to eight look at their net run rate it's minus 0.3 now the three teams above them are all in the plus with the New York strikers way ahead with 2.2 but a win and a big win could put them in contention yeah here come the op openers the Dilshan generally opens the batting with Oja and uh, it is Punjab Royal versus Candy Sampami as you know, Candy Sampami fielding after they won the toss. So quite a few new names and new faces for Candy Sampami, obviously plagued by injuries. Three changes here. Tilakratha Dilshan, he's had a wonderful tournament. He's been batting well. Look at that strike rate. 153.7, a best of 59. And uh, Norman Oja has looked Norman Oja has looked very good, but he's just not kicked on. He's looked good in, in, in patches. He's just scored 48 runs. That the little bit we've seen, he always is so pleasing to one's eye. He's a good player, R Roshan. He's a very good player. And you're right, he hasn't. He's threatened. He's threatened to stay around and get a, a decent score. He is a, an exquisite timer of the ball. So Aaron Finch wearing five. This is Rahul Shukla. A little bit on the expensive side, just be, below... A, 10 or just over nine and a half but I like his endeavor I like his purpose his menace he runs in a long way and those green shoes they belong to Kevin O'Brien who's been in great form there you go Kevin O'Brien uh, he won't be but he has bowled you know Kevin O'Brien has been a decent bowler over the years with his medium pace but it's going to be the likes of Rahul Shukla Travon Griffith John Russ Jagasar with his offspin. Vikas Tokas, we haven't seen him in this tournament. He's a newcomer. Lehiru Jaratni as well. And Navin Stewart bowls all sorts. All right, we're ready for the first ball. It is Oja on strike. It is Shukla, who's bowled with good pace, I'll tell you. It is Punjab Royal versus Candy Sampami. Match number 17. Play, Play is what umpire Deepal Gunawadana says. And here comes the first ball. Straight away, there is some heat from uh, Shukla, who has bent his back, he's been honest, he's given it his all and bowled with good, really good pace here. Gosh, he has, and that's a great start. You, you don't want to give a new bat, the brand new ball, a sighter. And what he's done here, he's been on the money. Tilgratha Dilshan is the captain of Punjab Royal on strike but they do have a daunting task it's not easy Bilko as you pointed out even if they get eight points the run rate is going to be pretty challenging considering where they are slip in short delivery that rushed on to him you watch Shukla is spacey he can rush a batter he runs in he bends his back He's gone for a few, but when on song, he can be quite sharp. He was done for pace for sure, Dilshan. Now, now that shot is prompting the square leg to go down to the boundary. There's also a fine leg out on the boundary, but they are frotting a little bit with danger here because they're bringing that short third. He's running in, he's bowling quickly. Mid-off, mid-on saving one. Again, asking a big question. I think there might have been a little inside edge here. But uh, full marks, this is a great start by Shukla. Let's have a look here. I think 
good seam, it's jagged back. And not, yeah, just a little one. Two sounds anyway, but I think it was too high and doing too much. Yeah, but it, it's been a good start, as you said. Three balls at pace, just a single conceded. Just not looking to bowl too full, but just back of a length. Short ball, he gets off the mark. In fact, he'll get away with the boundary. That is a good shot. He split the gap between fine leg and square leg. You see, Dilshan's first movement, his right foot goes back into the crease. His, his back foot goes back into the crease, and so that gives him a little extra time. And he can watch the ball. Just look at his back foot. Look at his back foot. This has already gone back into the crease. So his first movement, his first trigger is back and across. Again, just a hint of movement back into the right-hander. He's rushing him, I'll tell you. He is really rushing the batter. Have a look at his foot. He's gone back. He's gone back and then he comes back. Have a look at this. There we go. You see that right foot. So he's come back and he can see and pick up length just a little bit later. Last ball of the over. This is Ocha on strike. It's a good over for Shukla. Oh, yes, I did. Get a single. Seven of the first over. One leg. Yeah. Right, that's a look at the batting card. I think Searles will bat ahead of Panasa. But uh, that batting runs up to about white and then Searles. And then I don't think they have too much of batting left as far as. Uh, the Punjab Royal are concerned, so they'll have to depend a lot on those top four or five. Munavira was in very good form. Dev Sitch has been good. White got amongst the runs in that last game. Dilshan. This is uh, Vikas Tokas, who hails from the uh, city of Delhi. I've not seen him before, so I can't tell you an awful lot about him, but uh, looks like he's uh, fairly brisk. There is a deep backward square leg side for that short ball that, uh, there we are, right on the screen, right on the edge there on the boundary, deep backward square. Ooh, reload. Yeah, but he's got a very chest on action, square. And the reason that that ball has disappeared down the leg side is you can see him here, it's very square on. He looks as if he's going to get side on, and then everything is square on. So the fact that he doesn't get side on means that he's not actually going to bowl too much away swing. That was a good take down the leg side by Adav. Yeah, but you're right. He appears to be bowling a lot of in-swing because he tends to, with that action, he seems to be pushing it into the right-hander. So we speak about wrist positions of fast bowlers. Oh, that swung. That swung a long way. That surprised the batter. That's a very good delivery. That is a, that is a snake from Tokas. Look at the seam. It's pointing towards a leg slip area square on that can only jag back. 
great load up position and he's let it the release is perfect and it's cut Dilshan in half <laughs> oh, tell you what that's a very very good delivery on another day he'll pick up a he'll pick up wickets with that yeah great seam position no doubt when that was delivered <laughs> And he swings with the movement and he gets a boundary. I think Dilshan have sized him up. He knows that he's looking to bowl in swing and he went as soon as he saw it, saw it just short of a length. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous from Dilshan. He has swatted this like he swatted a fly in the windscreen. It's just get out of here. Go on, get out of here. You're not going to bowl at me. He's just told the bowler, don't bowl this to me because I'm going to hit you. See, I think... Uh, the fact that Dilshan has understood that he's more an in-swing bowler, so just back of a length, went through square leg. Oh, this is good. This is really good. That's six. But you need to see Dilshan's initial movement. He was moving towards his off stump. He was settling well on that off stump. Just look at where he is and taking it from wide of the off stump. This is really high class from Tilakaratni Dilshan, he's worked the bowler out, he's worked him out that he's, he can only bowl him in swing at the moment, he hasn't straightened one up and that's why you've seen that movement in the crease sideways to get inside the line of the ball to hit it leg side. Just making him to bowl at Dilshan. Again, well bowled. that's better, that is really well bowled. What he did well was he went full at the leg stump. Dilshan moving towards the off, obviously looking to work it away with the movement. But this is a really good delivery. Actually, I think that hit the pad first and Dilshan would have been gone. Would have been gone. No, it's going down. Whatever. Look where the keeper is. The keeper is on an another pitch down the leg side. That tells you. So they moved to 20, Dilshan, 16 of 8. He's getting that ball to move back into the right-hander. He's getting some really big in-swing. 12 balls bowled. 21 without loss. Now, Tilkaratna Dilshan, 47 years young, has gone past 200 runs in six matches, a strike rate of 156.5. Robin Uttapa still very good, 223 the strike rate. Well, we have had some uh, celebrities here present, gracing the occasion, particularly when it comes to the post match presentation. Now, this is Lahiru Jayaratna. Has played under 19 cricket for Sri Lanka. He can swing the ball. He was a bit pacey when he was uh, when he played under 19 about 15 years ago. He was he's played a lot of first-class cricket. Good seam and a gentle away swing. Gentle. It went pretty soon from the release from the hand. He certainly lost his pace, no doubt, uh, Lairu Jayaratna. He was quicker and he could also bat. But now, uh, very much in the retirement stage. How close is that? How close is that? Unless there was an inside edge. Unless there was an inside edge. Let's see what umpire Deepal says. But he's given a leg by here. I... Goodness me, that looked that looked that looked absolutely plump. Look where he's gone. It's pitched on. That's dead. That is dead. Dead, dead, dead. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, dead. See, for me, the only reason that he could have been saved had had to be an inside edge. 
so he gave a leg by so which means there was no inside edge so that was straight I'm wondering what uh, Deepal Gunawardhan was thinking that looked out that definitely looked out absolutely plumb hitting middle stump halfway up and I'm sorry but the bowler should have had a wicket there and the big one of Dilshan Oh, that's very well done. Very, very well done. A soft skill of Tilkaratna Dilshan coming into play just using the pace, the angle, and a fine tickle. It's all right to do it now, but morally, the, the victory is with the bowler. Rujaratna, not just under 19, but has played Sri Lanka emerging, has played for Sri Lanka A. When he finished his career, he was playing for Kurunagala Sports Club. Now plays, plays league cricket in England, punched away on the offside. One ball to go. Playing this over. Sorry. Last ball of the over. Bit of outswing. 18 done, 29 without loss. Battered through extra cover. Shukla giving room to Tilakaratha Dilshan. And he's just slapped that one for a boundary. Well, the faster it comes on, the faster it disappears. He's had such a good tournament, hasn't he? Tilakaratni Dolshan. I mean, he's now the highest run scorer in the whole tournament. This has been a decent start. Oja has been quiet. Dilshan's had the bark of the strike. Opportunity. This should be taken. This should be out and is. So that's the end of Dilshan. The impressive Shukla is the one to strike. Must have hurried on to him a little bit. Dilshan was into the pull. So there is a check for a front foot. Uh, well, well. Sean is trying to get that one over. Oh. Some scares while uh, catching that uh, one, but the uh, Punjab Royal skipper has to depart. He goes for 25, it's 33 for one.
And such a good side, Namanoja, Dwayne Smith, Dilshan Munavira, who's played so well since coming into the side, Anton Devsic, who's played one or two good knocks, Cameron White, plenty of power. Again, a lovely batting order here for the Punjab Royal, but this is the man that scored most of their runs in the competition, Tilakarat and Dilshan. But Shukla's been good tonight. There have been occasions where he's gone that he's gone the distance. But tonight he's running, he's bowled with good pace, he's hit good areas, and he's been rewarded. Unavira is in. Dilshan replaced by Adilshan. And he's straight away. Looks for room outside the off stump. Yeah, Monavira got 47 of 26 in their previous game. So he's diminutive in stature, but he gets on with things. Amanoja hasn't made any significant contributions as of yet. He's still a very fine player. Shukla has been good in this game. He's just given, just given 12 runs from his 11 deliveries. He's picked up a very important wicket, that of the uh, Royal Skipper. And look at this field. He's got a deep square and almost a deep point. Those are the two men outside the 30-yard. Uh, Unlucky. He was just looking to run that down to third for four. End of the power play, 34 for one. Their last game this evening, the Punjab Royals are so important for them to win it, but they're going to have to win it very, very well. And if there's any chance of them getting through to the the final, but and then a lot of results have got to go their way as well. It's, it's a tough one. Brother, wait a bit, wait a bit. John Russ Jagasar, the off spinner from the Caribbean. Munavira was uh, trying to play across the line. Zegasa, that one didn't turn, it went on straight. And that's the second wicket. That ball, it is more like an outswinger to me. Very well done. So Zegasa picks up another. Dilshan Munavira will have to make that walk back. He departs for one. The Royals are 34, 34 for two. Good bit of bowling, wasn't it? Really good bit of bowling by Jagasar. And he's done that in virtually every single game. He's bowled his first delivery very quick, seam up. Because Munavira was looking to, uh, to play the sweep there. And he almost yorked himself. Dwayne Smith is the new man. It is. It's a, it's a straightforward outswinger, but it's too it's too full. He's looking to go over midwicket, thinking that it's the traditional yeah. spin that's going to get bowled at him, but it's onto him in a flash, and he almost yorks himself. This is a T20 specialist. When I say T20. This is the first time that this format 15 overs is being played. 
and he has had tremendous success, Dwayne Smith, in the 20 over format. Yes, I'm ready, you. Aaron Finch has now put a slip in. So we're going to have another little outswinger. Whoa! Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, buddy, cool! They will get a run, but it's interesting to find out how do you call him? How do you call Jake Asaz? Do you call him an off break bowler? I think he is an off break bowler. I just think he bowls an arm ball up front. Super bowling, super bowling, super bowling. He's got a couple of different variations. This, this one was flicked out with his middle what? finger. Yep, I mean, he's an interesting one, isn't he? More of a mystery spinner than an off spinner. Well, you talk about mystery bowlers. Sri Lanka is one of the countries that produce one of them. They produce the most number of mystery bowlers. He had Ajanta Mendes, who was a typical like that. He used to flick the ball. Yay! And that definitely swings back into the right-hander. So he's got one where he just bowls seam up, which goes away from the right-hander. And then one where he just flicks it out the front, almost with his middle finger. And the ball drifts back into the right-hander. Tricky, tricky, tricky. One. He's called for two. He won't get two. And that will end the 30 deliveries. 38 for two. Well, the second over was a good one, but then the loss of the two wickets, Dilshan and Munavira in quick succession. It's just seen them lose that momentum. So Karia is the new man into the attack, so more spin. Good shot, good shot, nicely timed. Jonathan Fu in the deep. He's actually been good in the field. You know, those fielders who've been uh, very sharp in this uh, tournament. Again, a bit of room for Namanoja. They're really trying hard, isn't it? Uh, they, but they're not really been able to get it with a lot of power. The two batters, just singles at the moment. One leg, yeah. Super bowling. He's missed out there. That was a drag down, and Smith was looking for the gap between long on and deep mid wicket, and it's a big, big gap there between long on and deep mid wicket. Cap, cap, cap. Struck powerfully down the ground and away for four. The outfield is so firm that if hit at that sort of trajectory, it just skips away off the surface. A boundary of 14 deliveries. Namanoja. 
that's the best place to place it straight back past the bowler and it was powerfully struck Oh, change of angle. The change of angle doesn't help. It's a thick outside edge, and again, it's a boundary. Manoja trying to get a move on. I'd say that is a lucky on the part of the batsman. Third man is fairly wide. 50 on the board for Punjab Royal. So that's uh, 36 gone, 6 overs, 50 for 2. Super, super, super. Bairu. Super bowling, super so in the previous Easy over, we spoke bowling. about the variations that Jagasar has. Now he's got the carom ball, which is the one on the left-hand side. We flicks it out with that middle finger, and on the right, the seam up delivery that goes away from the right hander, just like a traditional outswing bowler. That's out the ground. As simple as that. Seam up or flick. Namanoja has uh, put it away over the ropes. This time going round the wicket, uh, Jagasa. Yourself. The ability to, to bowl that carom ball out the, the front, just using that middle finger of his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just out of reach. Is um, marbles, the game of marbles, is that famous here in, in Sri Lanka? We'll just have a look here to see one left of, I mean, to be able to do that, to flick it out with that middle finger, and the one on the right is just the traditional outswinger. He must have been a wonderful marbles player in his youth. Easy one. You talk about marbles, HD, yes, it was a very popular sport uh, maybe 20, 30 years ago in Sri Lanka, not only in Sri Lanka, around the world, but now I think whoever plays marbles might be playing it off a smartphone. How unfortunate for them. <laughs> They're looking to go big over deep mid wicket, but just finds the inside half of the bat. So a single to end the over, 60 for two. Pretty decent uh, bowling figures there. Shukla, 12 uh, balls, one for 12. Jaratne, one over just cost him seven. Jagasa, 12 uh, balls, one for 14. And Karya, one over cost him 12. So a wicket apiece for Shukla and for Jagasa. Punjab Royal, 60 for two. <coughs> Oh, gosh, there's a, there's a little bit happening tonight, John Kent. 
I think maybe it's under the lights and maybe it's a little bit cooler. Oh, he's uh, coming to the side and giving it his best shot here. Uh, cutter, that one. Definitely rolled the fingers over on. Early on, he tried to get a bit of a waist swing, it seemed. At the moment, Smith just trying to feel his way into this one. They're going at eight and a half to the over currently. I think Dwayne Smith feels that he owes the, the side some runs. I remember the last time he got out, he was furious with himself. He got out and he he smashed the, the bat against his pads because he knew that, I think he was probably about 23, 24, and he, he was well set for a score. And he got out and he was livid. Namanoja back in runs. Oh my goodness, that looks good. That does look good and it sounded so good. Namanoja's got his radar set. Slip sweep of sorts. You know how risky this was. Not a huge amount of arm swing, but the, the wrist work was where he generated the power. It's a shot that reminds me of the Chennai Super Kings opener, Rutharaj Gaikwad. Plays it like that. Ooh. It's a good comeback from the bowler. From Jairatne, he bowled it straight. Got a few wickets in hand in the way they've gone about it so far. Just still shunt where we're at the men to go so far. And Smith just probably looking for his first boundary, get a little bit of momentum going, and then really start to unleash. I like what Jaratni is doing here. He's concentrating on bowling straight, bringing the stumps into play. Now, some of you might think, well, that's a daft thing to say because the stumps are there to be hit. But a lot of bowlers in this shortened form of cricket, they don't aim at the stumps. They actually they bowl wide Yorkers or they bowl uh, certainly wide of off stump. But this time he's bowled straight. 70 for two. 48 balls have been bowled. We've had eight overs here in Palakele. We'll have a timeout here now. just 35 not out Dilshan went for 25 Munawira for one and uh, Dwayne Smith's just come in for seven 70 for two Punjab Royal let's go downstairs to Shafali my mistake we'll, we'll have a look at this uh, start of this over first let's have a look at this first we've had eight overs let's see how uh, Dwayne Smith negotiates this and we'll drop down there to see who Shafali's got uh, with her 
That looks like a brand new piece of wood in the hands of Dwayne Smith. Maybe it'll bring him some luck. Here's Naveen Stewart. Right, downstairs, Shafali, all yours. Hello, everyone. Well, I have alongside me a very popular and pretty television face, Amara Dastur. Amara, are you enjoying the game here at the Legends Cricket Trophy? Absolutely. I'm having a great time. <laughs> All right. Who are your favorite cricketers over here? So, I know UV and Harbhajan have been playing. I just see Aaron Finch is also on the field. So, we've got a lot of Yay! legends over here and it's a lot of fun to be here. Hello, All right. Please tell us about your time in Candy. Are you enjoying the place? I'm loving Candy. It's my first time here. I've been to Colombo a couple of times, but I must say Candy is beautiful. And if you're ever here, please do go see the lake. All right. You know what? I'll just teach you few Sri Lankan words okay. right now. So one is Ayubhava. Say Ayubhava. Ayubhava. <laughs> this means Namaste. Like Namaste. Hello. <laughs> people like this here. Mm -hmm. And the other one is Mama Oyata Adre. Mama Oyata Adre. This means I love you. Oh, how sweet. Mama Oyata Adre. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Shamaira. I'll go back to the comms now. Naveen Stewart. Well, he's been batting up the order as well. He's been batting a high at three. That might be a wide. Just outside that blue mark. That blue line for the uh, umpires. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think it's all eyes on um, Dwayne Smith tonight because he, he always looks as if he can start and you wanted to carry on of course you do because he can bludgeon any opposition oh. his timing's not quite there quadrat is trying very hard to launch a few into that leg side and it's important also that he that he gets some bat on ball and makes a difference here because there's the likes of cameron white who's got runs in the previous couple of games Dev Sitch as well, who's finished very well indeed as well. So they need to really push on here, particularly Smith. Keeper's done well there, I must say. Rahul Yadav, a ball bouncing just in front of him. They're trying very, very hard to hit the boundary, but what they are doing is they're missing. And they dot balls accumulating and they're just trying harder and harder. They're squeezing their bat head handle a little bit tighter every time now. Naman Oja should be gone. What a good catch. Vikas Tokas takes a very well measured take. And he's done well here. New boy in the side makes his presence felt. And Naman, uh, Namanoja is gone. A bit of pressure, that's what's happened. A couple of dot balls and the Sova has brought this on and that's a brilliant catch. Absolutely, superbly judged. And Stuart is getting in on the act in his first over. He's got the wicket of Namanoja for 36. Royal 74 for three. So we're going to have the left hand, the left handed Anton Devsic coming in now to uh, complement the right hand of Dwayne Smith. It's a good catch, this. Again, it's the pace off delivery. Namanoja felt he could clear that long off. This is a good take because Vikas Tokas had come in from the fence. You do that, you walk in with the bowler. And he didn't right quite get it out of the middle of the bat. But not a bad knock from Naman Oja. 36 from 21. Is it super bowling? So Jagasar's back on. 13 deliveries, one for 14. Yay! Where's he got 
hard down the ground. Smith really trying to force it and he hasn't timed one of them yet. I enjoy the split screen that was shown to us earlier on while Ash Jackman was on and he talked about the Dujer coming out the front of the hand and he's shown the off spinner, he's shown us already the arm ball and one that swings away straight from the hand, he bowls a beautiful outswinger and he, he really does hide it with his left hand as he approaches the wicket. Yay! Kevin O'Brien. Look at the different balls. Karen Ball on the left. Brilliant. And then the seam up delivery on the right. The brilliant outswinger seam position on the right. You have a look at that. And then the finger, middle finger. Brilliant. There's okay. a big shot. He's dragged that wide of long on. And finally, Smith has got his first boundary. This is where Smith is strong. He just works it round leg side with those muscular arms. Look at that. It's a very strong bottom hand that comes into the shot. He's lucky he's got away with that. A leg stump half, a leg stump full toss. There's the cone ball on the left. You see how it comes out as a leg cut almost on the right there's the out swinger brilliant hand position finger positioning to execute those Yay! he tripped it that falls safely on the way to long on so good over from jagasar only eight from it 82 for three Punjab Royal, 90, uh, 82 for three. We've had 60 deliveries, 10 overs. Remember, it's a 15 over innings, 90 balls. So 60 balls have been used for the 82. Smith and Devsich. Devsich, New Zealand. Smith, Barbados, West Indies. Naveen Stewart is going to come round the wicket to the left-hander. Three men back on that leg side boundary. No one saving a single leg side. Oh, oh that's close. That's close. Maybe height. Well, Stuart doesn't try a huge amount. He just bowls off cutters, basically. Medium pace off cutters. And this one hit him in line. It looked to be the line looked to be okay. Maybe just slightly outside the off stump. Slightly. But that was extremely close. And... He's right to uh, have a good question to the umpire. Oh, he's thrashed this. It's uh, too strong for the man out there at deep point. And Smith just starting to find his range. Last over, heaved one wide of long on. And this time now outside the off stump, given plenty of width and pace on it. That's in the play of the day, really, in, in the first game as well, when bowlers got pace on it. They traveled many a mile, and off cutters, change of paces, the more order of the day. Short, lands safely. Nice job! Trevon Griffith is the... The fielder out there.
He's there, he's there. They'll settle for the one. Yeah. It's 89 for three. Smith now has been in for 16 deliveries for his 20, so he's had a good look. And I would have thought a good feel for the pitch and its pace and its nuances. Good finish, good finish. Yeah, look, Jagan Sars bowled his three over, so he could likely be bowling another over to take up the four of allocation. Goodness me, that was a, a slower bumper, and he could have swung about three times to hit that one. <laughs> yes, yeah. quite comical, isn't it? The ball is pitched halfway down. Good change of pace. 11 overs gone, 66, 89 for three. Nine for three, we're into the last four overs. Well, the Punjab Royal needed a really big effort to not just win this but also get their run rate up. But at the moment, with their negative net run rate, it's going to be a really tough ask. So, to Kaas, he bowled six balls for 14, bowled big in swing to the right hander. He was taken apart by Dilshan. But Smith on 20, Devsic just in. Not an impressive effort uh, so far, HD. No, you, you almost find it's a bit difficult for both these sides in that you you try and get yourself up for the fixture because you, you want to win, you, you're competitive. But when you see that it, it's virtually impossible for you to get through to the, to the final, even if you win, it, I think... That has an effect on the players and their and their mindset. Obviously, a number of injuries to the side. We, you know, the Candy Sampami, no Tino Best, no Christopher and Porfu. They are struggling, no doubt, and this is the batting power play. Tokas, oh, swing and a miss, straight away. That's a good line to start with. Devsic was looking at mid wicket. He's got two men inside the circle on the leg side. So the car's going a bit wide outside the old stump. So Tokas has bowled seven balls for 14 runs. He's got two men saving one on the offside inside the 30-yard circle at short third and backward point. This should be taken. Should be taken at mid-off. And it is taken at mid off. A backpedaling Raul Shukla hangs on to that one. Just no real pace behind this delivery from Dokas. So it finds the leading edge as Devsic is looking to try and work that away on the leg side. Good catch. Good catch, but the innings is stuttering. It's just not getting going here. So Devsic goes and uh, Punjab Royal 89 for four. Talking, right? 89 for four. So Cameron White comes out. So it is a slide as far as the Punjab Royal are concerned. Dilshan promised a lot. 25 of 14. Oja for the first time got in, made 36 of 28. But both couldn't kick on. Munavira being dismissed now. Devsic. Leading edge, pace off. That's centre. Yeah, very good catch by Shukla. Reverse cup, as they call it. Well judged, well taken. So Cameron White 
on strike. Doesn't have a lot of pace, Tokas, but he swings the ball back into the right-hander. I think that's what's doing them at the moment, is the lack of pace. I mean, you're looking at someone like Dwayne Smith, um, 20 off 18. For any ordinary cricketer, a strike rate of 111 is not bad, but for someone like Dwayne Smith, that's not where he wants to be. And he is a clean striker of the ball, so it just suggests that the ball might not be coming on as much as they had hoped. He's worked hard for his runs, Dwayne Smith. That's a bad delivery. Oh, taken. Oh, dropped, in fact. That's Finch. How did he miss that? I thought he held it. Somehow, let it go through. Well, this is one that you just, you do, you smile about it. Because every single cricketer puts one of these down in their career. Maybe two. Because it's an absolute dolly. So there'll be some grins. Yeah, he'll be disappointed. There's no doubt about it. But it happens. It's good he's chosen to drop them at this stage. Not when he was captaining Australia. Two balls to go in the over. Yeah, he's struggling to force the pace because the ball doesn't appear to be coming on. As you said, it's slowing down a little bit, the surface. Tokas is not easy to be forced with his pace. Last ball of the over there. Ball number 71 out of 90 balls. So now it's number 72, 71 balls bowled. This time he gets it away on the leg side. Lairu Jayaratna is pretty quick. Yes, 72 balls done, 92 for four. There is a decline in those heights of the buildings. They're just starting to drop. So they haven't really been able to force the pace at this stage. <laughs> so we do have a few people coming in, but not the type of full house as we are used to here. Palikale generally turns up for a day-night game, and they do have lots of people coming to watch cricket. Swing in the swung in the air. This might be taken at long on. In fact, nobody makes an effort. Cameron White gave it an almighty swing. It just lands in no man's land. There's a long on and a long off, but it lands virtually directly behind the umpire. Just about 15 meters from the fence. So no one really having a chance there. Yep, he knows how unlucky he is. Yeah, Cameron White had an almighty swing at that one. Well, he was looking to hit it to the candy town. He just couldn't connect it. Now, this is better. This is really good. This is hit hard for four. Well, if there is a variation of pace in the surface, then this is not the length to bowl because a half volley is a half volley. And this is full, and Smith just swings away. He'll enjoy that length. Smith, that went through extra cover, that went so quickly, lots of power, but still that strike rate of Smith, oh, no, that's a good bouncer, that is a good bouncer, that's a change of pace, rushed him, he was taking pace off, he went full, and this one bent his back a bit, he was, that bounced, Onto him a little bit quicker. Yay! Again, another flat hit down to long off. Timing is not there. 
what's going on here? It's just, has this pitch deteriorated that much over the course of the two days that such clean strikers like Smith and White, I mean, White's just worked to the wick, walked to the wicket, but he too is, he hasn't found the middle of the bat yet. Yet. I mean, that's something very difficult to fathom considering the way the batters played in the previous game. But, well, this is under lights, and this is the second game, so that stayed down, that last delivery. But that first game for the day, this pace off again, looking to roll his fingers. So the first game, or the day games, the batters have enjoyed themselves, though this one is six. Just back of a length, and finally Cameron White gets it off the middle of the bat. The 100 is up, 104 for four. down to the last 12 balls of the uh, Punjab Royal innings. It's not been one of their better performances here. Punjab Royal in need of a win here. We do know that they're down in the run rate. This is that last delivery. Well, there is the middle of the bat for Cameron White. A bit, a bit of relief. You'll think, okay, so there is a little bit of pace in the surface, but there's not much pace from this man. Yay! Follows him, Lahiru Jayaratna different man and I thought it was uh, Dorcas. I thought he was back in. Dorcas bowled two overs or 12 balls for 17 runs. Jaratna has bowled 13 deliveries for 17 runs. Oh, that time another swing and a miss. Well Cameron White is throwing his bat at everything. I think there was even some words exchanged between White and Dwayne Smith, almost as if to say, what's going on? You know, why why are we finding it so difficult? This this might be taken by the bowler himself. Lahiru Jarath is a good field. Oh, he dropped it. He is a very good fielder. But somehow he dropped it. He never looks comfortable underneath this. He really doesn't. He circles. He's like a helicopter underneath it. As soon as he has to turn, he's down. Never easy. Those catches are not easy. Running back, falling over your shoulder. It sounds as though there's a relationship here between you and this fast bowler. Relationship. <laughs> what I can tell you is most of these guys, Sri Lankan cricketers, are my friends. So there is nothing special. They're all known to me. So I know a little bit about them. But you do know that once we step behind the microphone, we now have to be impartial. Of course. It goes without <laughs> saying. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you find me partial? This has he timed it? Has he timed it? He has. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's the second time in the over. That's to it. The umpire would want to check whether he touched the line, but he got around. He got underneath it, but somehow missed it. Well, it does seem that the one particular skill that deserts these legends it's not batting it's not bowling but it does seem to be the catching because we've seen a number of catches go down over the course of these last few days but we can excuse them because i can assure you they're not having fielding practice every tuesday and thursday 
Yeah, they deserve to be given full marks for trying, that's for sure. Stuart went around, got his hands to it. I think that he's fine. I'm not sure whether he was touching the boundary as he dropped it, so it has to be two. Good recovery by the fielder. So Cameron White survives. He's made 10 of, 11 of 9. Smith back on strike. Oh, this is clean. This is clean. It's gone for six. That is a great stroke to end the over. 10 of it is 114 for four. And 14 for four of 84 balls. We're left with six deliveries, and it's going to be Shukla. And take a look at that shot. That was meaty. He's like a golfer, he doesn't even look where the ball goes, he just keeps his head down, and away it goes. On the pads, he'll find the field at square leg, but Smith's back on strike. I love this. I really do. Okay, now we. It's the head. As he hit it, he knew. It's out the ground. Great shot that was. Really meaty. Strong forearms. Great timing. 33 of 25. Three fours and a six. White has hit a six so far. They got five deliveries left. Well bowled, very good, almost a Yorker, he dug it out. Superb, superb. He's been good tonight, Shukla. Bowled with good pace at the beginning. He got rid of the big man, Tilakaratni Dilshan. Now to be asked to bowl the last over against someone who's now in. Well, Candy Sampami will be pleased with their effort. They haven't let Punjab Royal get away. No batter really able to dominate them. No partnership. So this is well played. He moved inside the line. He was going full on the leg stump. That's gone fine for four. This is all Cameron White. He creates this. That's exactly what he was looking for as well. Yeah, he was exposing his stumps. He was making him bowl there because he knew there was a short fine leg. Nobody had fine leg. There was a square leg, so he was looking for that option. So he's got four of the third ball. Still three balls left. That's a slow delivery up. A leading edge. Easily taken. So Shukla strikes. Well, he put one down a little bit earlier, but this was a much simpler chance for Stuart. Once he knew where it was, I got you. Bright and breezy from Cameron White, 16 of 12. The Royal, 120 for five. So they're down to the last two balls. Smith still on 34. He's made of 26 deliveries. Searles is the new batter, Javon Searles is the new batter. He's left with two deliveries. What could he do? Another look. Outside edge, fairly simple catch to Stuart at the backward point. So Shukla has been good. He's just conceded six runs. Now Midoff comes into the circle with Searles on strike. Third man goes down to the boundary. 
he's got those three men on the leg side long on is out the second last ball of of the innings ball number 89 just 120 for five for Punjab Royal Javon Searles the batter on strike short ball that was quick and that certainly surprised him I think he just tried to get into position a little bit early here knowing that fine leg was up inside the circle he just gets down he gets into position a little bit early and allows Shukla that opportunity to adjust what he was going to do and instead he whacks it in and that's clever bowling right we're down to the final delivery here good performance here by the candy sump army they won't have many to chase but by all accounts the surface looks a little bit tougher but they've relied heavily on those two at the top Aaron Finch and Kevin O'Brien so still but this has been good with the ball he's down to the last ball fine leg goes out to the boundary now four on the leg side boundary one man at deep cover Searles on strike another short one will the keeper take it Yadav running back and takes it well what a catch that is that is a brilliant catch never easy it was going away from him oh what an outstanding catch by the wicket keeper wicket number six Shukla gets his second wicket in the over brilliant catch brilliant bit of bowling to go whack it in again He just had a little glimpse, Yadav. He had a look at fine leg to see if he was coming in, but realized then that was his catch and put in the dive at the end to get rid of Searles. Great performance by the Sump Army. They've restricted the Royal to 120. So that's not a frightening target for the Sump Army to attempt. But Punjab Royal, they'd be very disappointed. They wanted a good score. Is the run rate would have been challenging, but they wanted to possibly finish the tournament well. This is their last game. But instead, they have ended up with a rather modest score of 120 for six of 90 balls. Well, the two batters were good at the top, and then Smith, 34 of 26. White tried hard, but nothing else really from the rest of the batting. But generally speaking, batting hasn't been the easiest with the Punjab Royal out there. You know, this was the Shukla show for me. Three for 18 in his three overs. He was the pick of the bowlers, that's for sure. A wicket for Jagasar and a wicket for Stewart as well. So the Candy Sampami, they just got 121 to make of 90 balls, and I don't think that's too challenging here. Well, 121 to win of 90 balls. That's the Candy Sampa Army target.
So 120 for six. That's what the Punjab Royals made at the end of their innings. A top score of 34 from Smith. Oja getting 36 at the top. Dilshan had a good start. But Naman Oja and Dilshan went about uh, business at the start. And uh, Dilshan is getting into the act very early. But uh, Shukla made sure that he had the captain back. And that was a good delivery. And then Namanoja started to make things uh, moving on for the uh, Punjab Royal team with uh, a few lusty blows, but he uh, had to hold out in the deep. From that point onwards, there was not really a, a threatening partnership that really could take on the uh, candy bowling, and wickets kept on falling at uh, regular intervals. Yeah, that's what they wanted. They need a partnership, and it really never transpired. Uh, Aaron Finch will never want to watch that again. <laughs> he's, he's caught better catches than that. It was an innings that was stop-start, fragmentary in nature. And another catch goes down, but that was a bit difficult. Guys. You can hear everyone shouting, catch, catch. This time, it's another one. <laughs> no, 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 no. And to add insult to injury, S Smith keeps his head down, gets runs at the end. Nobody knows quite where it's going, and one finally lands. Shukla brandishes a smile. Tell you what, the ball was airborne for a lot in this game, and that was a great take by the keeper, Rahul Yadav. So it all added up to a, a Punjab Royal total of 120 for six. Shukla, three for 18. He bowled really well. Look at the numbers as well from Tokas, his first game, picked up one for 17 and two overs. Jagasar one for 22 in three. And Stewart one for 22 in his three overs, 18 balls. So some good numbers there in a low scoring uh, innings. 120 for six. 121 is the target for the Candy Sump Army. My word, they need the win. They need the two points.
Legends Cricket Trophy here at the Palakere International Cricket Stadium. It's uh, match 17. It's Punjab Royal, skippered by Dilshan Aaron Finch. The Australian skippers, the Candy Sump Army. And the Candy Sump Army are chasing a small total. 121 they're chasing. 121. Aaron Finch will lead from the top. And uh, for Punjab Royale, it's, uh, it, it's, it really is. It's a must win for the Punjab Royale. Now, here's Kevin O'Brien, the Irishman who's been in prolific form. Three half centuries in the okay, tournament. He's striking at 158. Bottom, he's done a half. Why I say it's a big game for Punjab Royal is it's because they, if they win this, they in touch with the leaders. Upal Indra Siri, left arm spin. Have you seen much of him, uh, Kosala? He's played a lot of domestic cricket. He's played a lot of domestic cricket. He's been a very high wicket taker in domestic cricket. Not played uh, international as such. Maybe one or two games, but he's got, got a lot of wickets in there domestic yeah I like his action too well there we are there's the uh, scorecard Namanoja 36 Dilakaratni Dilshan 25 Dwayne Smith 34 not out he was the cement in there Shukla picked up three wickets he bowled well 120 for six they found it tough going 121 the target here under the lights in Pallakelle Lowest team totals get, here. Yep. Right? Colombo Lions twice. Punjab Royal twice. And the Colombo Lions again. 127 for eight. They've had a bit of a tough time. Injuries have played their part. Injuries have certainly played a part. There we are. This Shuk Shukla's figures. Those are good numbers. 18 balls, 18 runs, with nine dot balls, three wickets he picked up. Very impressed with uh, Vikas Torkas as well. 12 balls, 1 for 17. Kevin O'Brien, pride of Ireland. Right. Oh, three half centuries in the tournament. Okay. Let's play. He's opening with Aaron Finch. 121 the target. Indra Siri, the left arm spin bowler, has picked up, I think it's uh, over 500 wickets in first class. Right, here we go. Four to start, it's too short, it's an absolute gift. Just what uh, the uh, Candace Amp Army wanted. You can't, you just can't afford to give that type of a loser to Kevin O'Brien. He's so powerful on the back foot, he would just punch you through. Yes, a loosener to start from Indra Siri. Better. Very well, very well, Upul. Just a uh, thing about uh, Upul Indra Siri. That's uh, the uh, section of the crowd that's coming. We have we have a fairly decent crowd in today. It's a Saturday. Okay, Brian will get a single, but he would have loved that going over the mid wicket boundary. But just a quick thing about Upul Indra Siri. Uh, Alan, no, he's picked up over 500 wickets in domestic, but he was overshadowed by Rangana Herath. A lot of bowlers were overshadowed by Rangana Herath, I can tell you. What a bowler. No, Wonderful exponent of left arm spin bowling, Rangana Herath. Oh, metronomic. An action that was so repeatable and so simple in its execution. Beautiful to watch. But this is a good action. Rangana Herath with 433 test wickets. Indra Siri with 508 first class. Bowled in. Yay! Wonderfully delivered by Indra Siri. He'll prize this scalp, Aaron Finch. This was so well delivered. One was tossed up. Aaron Finch, his eyes lit up when he saw that. But I, I thought he missed the line. And uh, it just castled into the stumps. Aaron Finch uh, departs without troubling the scorers. It's 5 for 1 at the end of the first over.
I'm told that uh, this fellow, Trevon Griffith, who's 32 or 33 in April, is the youngest in the tournament. He's 32, so if that qualifies you for being a legend, they start them early these days from Guyana. Now, Kevin O'Brien, that puts a bit of pressure on Big Kev. Here we have the emotional <laughs> heart on his sleeve, Sri Sant. Now, Kevin O'Brien, he's been like an icon for Ireland with the bat, he's with the ball as well. Let's see what he has against Sri Sant. Just got away with that. Swung after it pitched as well. Yeah, no, no, no. This is the uh, wicket. I'll tell you, Finch's eyes lit up when he saw that tossed up. Yeah, credit to uh, Upal Indrasiri. Tossed it up, he said to, to um, Aaron Finch. Go on, hit that. Go on, hit it. Finch saw it. And he missed it. That is four all the way along the deck, well in front of square. Message to the bowler, pitch it up. Kevin O'Brien, he loves anything short. He will just put you away. With that big gap, Sri Sant just can't afford to do that against uh, Kevin O'Brien. Now, I did mention that he was an icon of batting in uh, Ireland, but I would remember him most for that wonderful 100 he got in the 2011 World Cup against England when they beat England, chasing 300. In Bangalore, wasn't it? Bangalore, yeah. Short again. Hasn't quite hit this. Don't think it'll go for four. Oh, well done. Devsic has pulled this back. Anton Devsic. Watch it, watch it. Cool, well fielded, Anton. They will have a look uh, on, on this one. Devsic, he did well to cover the ground. That was very important. Again, taking it from off. This, this is what they will be looking at. I feel that is a good effort. Yeah, to me, he's saved this. He's pulled it back. And he hasn't touched those boundary cushions. Absolutely well done, Anton Devsic. Goodness me. Must be on a bonus for fielding. better. That's a good repost from uh, Sri Sant. It's the only way to stop Kevin O'Brien from hitting you for four every ball is to pitch it up and ball straight. The Punjab Royal need to win this game. This is their final game. Oh, so they need to win to get on to eight points. And wait. So, there you go. That's right. If they win here today, they get on to eight points. And this is their final game. And Candy Sampami, the Sampami knows that if they win here, they get two more points and win their last one, they can get to eight points. But their net run rate is not that healthy. Bold. Good shape from Sri Sant. Matty, ma mathematically, uh, Alan, it's going to be very tough for both these teams. Even uh, if they win today, look at those net run rates, a minus 3.54 and a minus 1.178. So that's hard to... Yeah, no, you're, you're right. They're, uh, they're up against it with those net run rates. When you see the three teams above them, all very healthy plus 
numbers. Bold. Oh, it's through. It's through for a couple. I'm not sure it's going to go the distance. No, it won't. It'll be two. Fourteen for one. Kevin O'Brien is on strike. Yeah, it could be uh, Siddharth Trevedi who's going to bowl here from the uh, south end of the ground, from the, the main stand end. Fine leg and third up inside the circle. No one on the fence behind square. There is a deep backward square, I should say. Ah. Well bowled. That's what uh, Trivedi should be doing. He needs to make sure that O'Brien is off the strike. And, uh, yeah, Tran yeah, Moet, Center, yeah. Griffith, especially in the power play. Siddharth Trivedi. Economy is not bad, it's under nine. That's different. Very different. It's gone for six. It was premeditated. He got into such a good position. Well, we were talking about Griffith being uh, kept quiet, but uh, he says, no, if O'Brien can do it, I can do it better. He gets a six. He's got into a good position there, isn't he? He was on one knee before Trevedi had released the ball. Oh. Once again, pace taken off. And uh, Griffith was all over it. Again, slower delivery. We got off to a decent start. The candy, Sam Army. They've lost Aaron Finch, but they will depend a lot on this man on pitcher, Kevin O'Brien. He's got loads of runs in white ball cricket. way through it is going about things he's taken pace off the delivery he's not allowed O'Brien to really free his arms he's always kept him in check good stuff yeah it's the type of player Kevin O'Brien here he is 22 on his back that if you bowl short and you experiment a bit too early with him give him a sighter he'll punish you he's a uh, He's greedy. He likes to get big runs. Oh, that's a super shot. Save your legs. That's a boundary. 27 for one at the end of the third.
so that's how you get it. No, no, that's, no, no. I wasn't sure whether uh, we you never know what. Sun Palmy 27 for one. The Punjab Royal were 29 for no wicket. Not much in it at this stage after 18 deliveries and Kevin O'Brien on strike. But uh, got to say that uh, this fellow, Trevon Griffin, has been really very resourceful, full of enterprise. The reverse sweep. And now we're going to see Javon Searles. Had the one bad match. His economy is a little on the high side, heading towards 11. But he does take wickets. Four for 28 is best, so he does get amongst the wickets. Deep point and a deep square leg. Slow to start. Oh goodness! Oh, don't even bother. Just bring it back. Throw it back to the bowler, Kevin O'Brien. That timing was immense he didn't try to hit it too hard another slower delivery but Kevin O'Brien he picked his spot the placement was fantastic he just it was just a punch how strong are those four arms oh, he's a big fella let me tell you he's a big man Kevin well bold that's a well bold delivery to uh, O'Brien Good comeback delivery. Very well done from John Searles. Ah. Mm -mm. Feet going nowhere. Kevin O'Brien is just fishing at that. Trying to get bat on ball. Oh, how it hasn't hit that off stump. He's a bemused Irishman at the moment. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Again, rolling his fingers, deceiving Kevin Owen, but that just missed by a whisker, I would say. Oh, this is good. This is good. Very well done by Joan Swales. He did have a good outing in the previous game, and he's continuing from that. Mixing things up, change of pace. He knows that not once again. This is a happy looking crowd. Again, pace off the ball. The run up leg by. Oh was that needed? Was that needed? No, it wasn't. Clumsy. They uh Punjab Royal taking their eye off the ball here. I mean, the ball has gone nowhere for the first run. And uh, untidy. It's unfortunate, but it shouldn't have been thrown at the stumps either. And this time, Kevin O'Brien tries to work it away. You only get a single. It's the end of the 24th ball the Sam Palmy up 34 for one Well, interestingly, as the power play is done, both teams were on 34. Punjab made 34 for one. Candy Sampami has made 34 for one. And now that means that uh, the Candy Sampami needs 87 of 66. Indra Siri started off well. He's bowled four dots in his six balls. One for five. 
Trivedi has gone for 13. Searles has none for five. Sri Sant. Nine runs. How high is that? And will this be taken? I don't think. I don't think it fell between two fielders. It was pretty high. It was Sri Sant who was running back. And Devsic was coming in. But neither one of them, neither of them, really made an effort to catch it. Well, he's getting a laugh line here. This was the opportunity. I thought firstly, Sri Sant was going to catch this. The man running in didn't really make a play or make a call for the catch. I tell you what, that would have been a massive wicket because O'Brien and Finch, they have been the batters that have got the runs for the Candy Sump Army. They don't really have a strong batting in the middle order. So O'Brien's wicket will be the key here for the Punjab Royal. If they want to finish off on a high, is they won't qualify because their run rate is not up there with the top three, but at least they could finish off with some satisfaction. Oh, this is a good shot, but might be caught. It is. He improvised this time. He found the fielder. Indra Siri gets his second wicket. I think he was trying to get this a little bit further behind square. Short fine leg was up in the ring. Trying to get around the ball and hit it behind square further but in the end picked him out basically straight to him well judged nicely positioned it took it a bit low in the end but a big wicket Trevon Griffith has to go for 15 Sam Palmy 39 for two so Paul Indra City has now got two for ten He's bowled nine deliveries. And now it's Stuart coming in, the new batter. Joining O'Brien, who's made 22 of 16. But uh, the way forward for the Punjab Royal will be wickets. His strike rate is very good, but hasn't really made too much of runs. The best of 23. But another look. Griffith was trying to improvise here. He was down on one knee, looking for that slog sweep. Managed to get it, but only as far as the fielder. So pull into the Yes, he saw O'Brien being missed a few balls earlier. Now he's satisfied to see that he's at another one. Doesn't really spin the ball much, but he slides it in. He's got over 500 first-class wickets, so he carries a lot of experience. He's mixing it up, he changes his pace, he changes the angles, tends to use the crease well. He's bowled 12, 11 deliveries, conceded 10, and he'll want to finish well here. Oh no, I think it's gone the distance, no one bounce for four, it went fairly high. Stewart didn't connect it fully, but he still gets a boundary to finish the over. 30 balls done, 43 for two. The worms have met, they're hugging each other. But the requirement 78 of 60 balls, that's not uh, very frightening. They got eight wickets in hand. Monty Panessa will start off with his left arm spin. So he's going to have a slip, I think. Dilshan's coming across to slip. So obviously, the plan is to try and dismiss this man, O'Brien. They need to see the back of him quickly. Oh, he's. 
<laughs> found the gap and it's four. That's very well played. That was short for Monty Panessa. Oh, I'll tell you what, that slip's coming out, that's for sure, with a delivery like that. Drag down, bit of a loosener from Monty. And off the back foot, he punched it over extra cover, so a really impressive stroke, right off the back foot. Had to generate all the power. So as you said, I think that was a poor start. That was, that was really a drag down. There was no field at extra cover, so... And also oh, the pace guys. of the ball allowed Kevin O'Brien to get into position and just Thank pick you. his spot. It's becoming a little bit easy for Kevin O'Brien. Look at this. Look at how he picks that spot. He looks for that, that elevation and he gets it well. Oh, that has gone a mile. That must be one of the biggest hits in, in this ground, in this tournament. With the ball, he's cuts in with a bat. He's a powerful hitter. There's the catch. Got to catch it in the banks here. Come on. Got to do better than that. But there it is. Full in the slot. And that has sailed. Many more. Well, the spectators need to remember that there is a there is a reward for catching them. There's 100,000 Sri Lankan rupees for any spectator catch. So that's an incentive. I like the sound of that. Oh, definitely a bigger crowd this evening trying to take those catches. And that certainly gave them an opportunity to cash yeah, in. Target. Again, he was aiming to extra cover. That, at least his indication tells that. Just didn't have enough pace to go there, but instead he pushed it down to a long off very safely. 13 runs in the over, boundary of six, three singles. Started to do it a little bit easy here. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Because a single. Sent back. Dot to end the over. 56 for two after 36 balls. Trivedi, who oh, gives himself a lot of room this time. See what Kevin O'Brien has done well. They're coming back for two. He has been looking to create space for himself. With Trivedi, you could see that he was moving away because he sees that big gap on the offside. Extra cover is an option. Behind point is an option. So look at how he's looking to make room for himself. He just wants to free his arms up. And he has created some width himself really but looking to target extra cover earlier this time to the right of the fielder Trivedi just taking a bit of pace off so that seems to be the strategy on this surface slower you bowl it's not easy Panasar when he was looking to toss it up the batter was a little bit more circumspect but you fire it in then you get the full force of the batter I think they're pulling it into the wicket, pulling those cutters, rolling their fingers over it. That definitely makes a difference. Doesn't quite come onto their bat as true. Just holds up a touch. Ah. Yeah, Trivedi could be ideal with his pace because he's not express. He tends to run his fingers around the ball. He tends to bowl cutters. So he'll be difficult to get away because the ball wouldn't arrive. So the plan would be to try and knock it into gaps, but anything with a little bit of width. That would be the time that uh, Kevin O'Brien will look for something big. Just four runs of the first three balls. Oh, that's a good one. That is a really good one. That is the wrong length to bowl to him. It was a little bit too full in his hitting zone. Right, if you bowl quick, if you bowl a cutter, if you bowl a slower ball, if it's in the slot, it's in the slot. All the same. Floated that one up right in the zone where he's looking for it, under his eyes here. 
stand and deliver absolutely perfect you could see the ball coming out of his hand he was obviously trying the cutter but it's just that length Shot oh, this time well done in the deep by Devsic just giving himself a bit of room that's a bit of pace that time from Trivedi see I think the length is so critical on this surface yes the pace is important but the length you can't afford to go full every time you're in that zone in that full area the batters have uh, enjoyed themselves that's pace off 11 runs off that over 42 balls 67 for two So this is the list, most runs list, and Kevin O'Brien's just reached the top of it. Brilliant strike rate. He's been a consistent performer. The rest of his team haven't been so. The rest, Dilshan, have been very, very consistent. Utapa, Walton, and Marsh. That's not a good delivery at all, that one. Talking of those run scorers, all those other run getters are in the top three teams, and they've basically dominated Marsh. We've seen him already. Walton, last game, absolutely lit it up. Utapa. Only today was the day he had off day today. Yeah, he did, but he he was he, he was due for one. He was scoring so freely, he was looking good. That's just a chip over mid off down to long off for a single. Have a look at that back foot. On the bounce. And that should be a no ball, shouldn't it? So he's just missed something there. Right foot is not allowed to touch that line. That's gone very wide. So that's the return crease. So he is he's basically landing very wide and touching that return crease. This is what we're looking at. Yeah, that's his back foot and then that front foot. I'm just wondering, is that is that a no ball, John? It is a no ball. Plain and simple. I warned you about it. That's what that's what O'Brien's saying. He's saying is is that's a no ball, you gotta call it. What is he doing? Searles, he's going wide to the crease. We've just seen where he delivered and now he bowls a, almost a gentle full toss down the leg side. So we've had a wide off the first ball and a wide off the most recent delivery. He needs to get it right. His foot positioning way better on that delivery. And that one, poor ball. He's bowling into those pads, and that's risky business to O'Brien, who tried to help it past short fine leg. Just hit him on the pad, so you'll feel he missed out there. See, I don't understand this, because he's just got four men on the leg side. He's got five on the off. But he's looking to bowl on the leg stump. Just looking to bowl those cutters onto the leg stump. So it becomes a very easy option as far as the batter is concerned. I think O'Brien is making the point to the umpire about going wide to the crease. Exactly. That's what he's pointing. He was going very wide. He was definitely going wide. No doubt about it. Oh, he misses out. How did he miss out? That was a full toss. That was a friendly one. Stuart was swinging hard. Lots happening. Lots happening in this over. 
well, the run rate required is under seven to the over, so it's not been too costly for the batting side. O'Brien, it's important. He bats all the way through to the end here. Ah! That time, that time it's a no ball. That was a very loud shout. And now he confirms it's the free hit. Let's see. Was it, was it the front foot? He was loud. He yelled. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a massive one. That's a good foot over the line. And a single down to long on. So 48 balls done. That was an eventful over. 74 for two. Time for the strategic timeout. Yeah, we should have the umpire confirming it now. Yes, that's the confirmation. That is the strategic timeout. Seventy-four for two. That's what uh, the uh, Candy Sam Army is at the moment. The target. They need another forty-seven from forty-two. And Kevin O'Brien has made a good knock of thirty-nine. He's still there to make sure that they get to that target. Evan Stewart's been giving him good support. Finch. Well, he had a disappointing outing. Brian is trying to make sure that he stays there till they get closer to that target. He's not been really severe on the bowling, but he's put the bad ball away. Trevedi has gone for 24 from 12 balls. Oh, he gets him. He clean balls, Nevin Stewart. And the third, Kenny Samavi wicket falls. That was dead straight, and Stewart was crying to run it down to third man. Missed it, and he's gone. It's just a straight one. Just a straight delivery, which he's trying to work down to deep third and misses. So Nevin Stewart departs to 14. It's 74 for three. Jonathan Fu is making his way out. Uh, well, his strike rate is good in this tournament. Not much runs from the four games that he's played. 
it's a pity for Stuart because he was forming a nice partnership with O'Brien. Yes, O'Brien was the aggressor, but it's really what they were wanting was for someone to just stick around with Kevin O'Brien because 47 from 42 at the time was not a tough one. Just a little more than a runner ball. Now that will be Foo's job, just to knock it around the occasional boundary. Center. In support of O'Brien. Well, he will nudge it around, he'll get no, no, O'Brien no. on strike. But also, actually, it's very important is can the Sam Army are to be in the contest. They need to get these runs very quickly. Yeah, look, I'd, li I'd like to sell that they've got the opportunity, but I think it's almost impossible. I, I think they, ha they had to win this in two overs or something. It, the, the net run rates of the sides above them are just so superior. But they need to win this. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Firmly struck down the ground. He's been in good form, Kevin O'Brien. He's definitely been him on the runs. And that was right in his zone. And uh, Kevin O'Brien just goes through with it. Six all the way. Beautifully done. Well, he, this is what he will do. He'll work it around. He's got a six in this over. So what Kevin O'Brien now realizes is that he needs to stay on because they don't have much batting to come really in terms of uh, the batters they have to follow. So that's what Kevin O'Brien will want to stay and stick it out there. Too, but Kevin O'Brien says no, one would do. Yeah, well, it's where they've fallen short throughout the tournament. The Sampami is once the dismissal of Finch and O'Brien, they've just struggled. This time, he uh, helps it away, but uh, ease protection will get a single. The 54th ball comes to an end, it's 84 for three. That black worm slightly creeping up now and getting closer to that target. This time Kevin O'Brien comes down the track and gets another maximum. That's beautifully done. 50 for Kevin O'Brien. What a knock this has been. His fourth 50 in the tournament. Down, looks for yeah, room, he's he's get man. a single, but it's a good start to the over. What a great way to go to your half century as well. Next up. He wasn't anywhere near the pitch of that delivery. So that net run rate now, just over five to the over, or oh, that's the required rate, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just a tap Batting and run. In. Chau, Paul. 
he, he comes down the wicket, but he doesn't get near the pitch of it. But gee whiz, does he find the middle of the bat there. Well bowled, very well bowled. He's quite happy to knock it around. Watch out, ball. And get the single. Coming nicely. Work around, so they've got nine off this over. So we're quite happy with it. But it's going to be a very tough call for Candy Sam Bami, even if they win. They've got another game left. Okay, 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 I'm all in. That's a dot ball. Come on, Jay. Yeah, well, this should be the end of the road for the Punjab Royal. They'll finish their tournament on six points. And certainly, they've had a captain who's uh, played really well in Tilakaratni Dilshan. And that's all that Jonathan Foo's required to do. Just knock it around here. They need less than a runner ball. That's 10 overs gone. 94 for three. So uh, Punjab Royal, they got six points, so their tournament will come to end after today's game. But they've done decently well. The captain has led from the front. Now they're taking the batting power play. And uh, Srisant has been given the ball by the skipper to bowl this uh, power play. I think it's a good time that they've taken it. it. As soon as it's available, they've taken it. Only three fielders are allowed, and the three men that uh, Shizan is going to have. He's got a deep mid-wicket. He's uh, got a deep cover and a sweeper cover. So where does he go? Might go wide outside the off stump. <laughs> go straight. Oh, There's an appeal. But maybe, maybe did a little too much, uh, HD. Leg. There's no bat involved, maybe just sliding down the leg side. Just. Just. That's not a question, that's a beg. <laughs> man on screen what a wonderful tournament he's had his fourth 50 <laughs> taken on the full it's just a single he is the leading run scorer of the tournament what makes it such a good innings is the responsibility that Kevin O'Brien knows is on his shoulders because him and Finch have really been the men that have stood alone in this batting line. And so to still be aggressive but play with a degree of responsibility has been quite something from the Irishman. He's powerful. He's very strong down the ground. But this time Jonathan Four gets it into the gap. That's a boundary. He was knocking it around previously, but uh, the moment he saw some bit, he's uh, punched it through for a boundary. The 100 comes up. Just cleared that left leg. Just cleared that left leg to give himself a little bit of room so he could get it through that offside field. There's no protection away on the offside. So that's what Fu wants to do. He wants to expose that.
time. He was trying to go on side. They will be happy with that. They're inching closer now. They need another 20 from 26. Sons is gone for 15 from 10. Wicketless. Again. They're quite happy with knocking it around. They need to get under a runner ball at the moment. And they're well in control of this game. Thanks to Kevin O'Brien's unbeaten 57. Jonathan Fu is giving him good support at the moment. to finish off this uh, batting power play over. We're again looking for room. Now they're coming back for the second. This is good running. Saw the opportunity and picked up the couple. That will end the 66th ball of the Candy Sam Army innings. It's 104 for three. Tomorrow, double header again. Match 18, the Colombo Lions take on the Delhi Devils. That's really to see who ends bottom of the table as both of them are winless and then a big one. The Dubai Giants take on the Kings. That is a big fixture tomorrow night's game. Here's Monty Panasar. Always fortunate to get away with that, Kevin O'Brien. A rare miss from uh, the Irishman. He came down the track really couldn't get underneath that one oh. they just sneak a single he actually played that well because he got done in the flight but didn't follow through with the aggressive stroke just touched it away for a single This time, Kevin O'Brien tries to clear long off. Cameron White will take that. Monty Panessa picks up a wicket. And that of Kevin O'Brien, the leading run scorer in this tournament, has to go. He's done the damage. He's taken them close enough. Surely the rest of them can take them over the line. Nicely bowled by Panessa, but a lovely innings from Kevin O'Brien. Brilliantly played. 58 from just 36 deliveries. Candy, 106 for four. So, they just need another 15. And as you quite correctly said, Jess Alcaria, the strike rate is almost 200. The best of 19. He just has to make sure that they knock these remaining 15 runs. This is the dismissal, and this is why he's here. Because Kevin O'Brien could not clear Monty Panessa and only found Cameron White at a long off. I think Jess Lucario doesn't want to hang around. He wants to get things done very soon. This has been a good over from Monty.
Well, ball, Monty. There's been a good over, just the three runs coming off it and the wicket. So, last ball coming up. Most probably the last time we'll see Monty Panasai in this tournament. That's it. Beautifully done. Jonathan Fu has uh, caught that one away for a boundary. And it is. He's at the boundary. Just drops in and uh, knocks on those cushions. They're having a look at this. Yeah, that is signal a boundary by umpire Wadana. It is uh, the end of the over. It is 111 for four at the end of the 72nd ball. Upul Indra City will continue, but Punjab Royal will be very disappointed with their for their final game of the tournament. They tried hard, they promised hard, but uh, unfortunately, it's been a rather ordinary day. Them today and now this is has it gone all the way I think it has it's gone the distance they're doing it quickly they're moving quickly this is full what a lovely stroke played with full confidence and lovely balance and that's a beauty this is one of the better spinners in the tournament to date Indusiri he's been excellent but they've taken him on at the right times and they've got within striking distance of winning this game now three to go i think the mistake was he was looking for some loop he was looking for a wicket there now if he was if he was willing to do that where he was looking to ball, fire ball, it ball, in ball. and bring it in with the arm the previous one he was tossing it up and the fool saw it and he went down the track and just hit him down to long off for six now they're down to three runs of 15 balls Well so, of an inside edge, they'll be happy with a single. So we're down to two. Oh, yes, that's it, that's it done it in style they finished it with a six this is Karia eight of four and they'll celebrate the candy sub army but as for the Punjab Royal they can only blame themselves they didn't have a good outing with the bat in hand and they've been dominated by the sub army scoring 125 for four with 13 balls remaining candy sub army they've been a few players short for today's game but they have pulled it out the bag and they beat a team that has been very, very good and consistent. And this was the final blow. And that must have been a great feeling. Hitting the winning runs, hitting, finishing it with a six. Straight up into that side screen area. And the dugout, they're pretty pleased, that's for sure. What could have been for both of the sides, really. When you look at the log standings. They got off to a bit of a slow start, did Candy Sam Army, but they finished really well here today. A very satisfying effort from the Candy Sam Army. They decided to field first after they won the toss. They restricted Punjab to 120 for six, that's Punjab Royal. And then they'll come out and made 125 for four with 13 balls left in their 90 ball allotment so this will be a very good effort well they tried hard no doubt with the ball in hand a few catchers missed but overall i think uh, they'll agree that it's been a poor return as far as they're concerned and that's how the candy sampami finished the game off 125 for four brian at the top making 58 finch didn't contribute 
Griffith tried, so did Stewart, but it was full. 23 of 14 and Karia finishing it off with a 6 to make 8 of 4. I think look at the bowlers in the series at the end. He was the bowler that was going to bowl his four over allocation. Two wickets for him. He's had a good series. She sound very economical. But Trevely just with one wicket and Panasar as well. Two overs for 20, one wicket. Searles, two overs for no wickets. So they didn't make any inroads. They were desperate to try to get into that middle order, but they never managed to get that far. They didn't score enough runs for me. So the match summary, eventually a fairly easy win for the Candy Sump Army. Punjab Royal making 120 for Forge, are making 36, Smith 34 of 26. It was a struggle. Dilshan 25 of 14, nobody really making anything big. Shukla was excellent, 3 for 18, Tokas 1 for 17. And in reply, Candy Sump Army, a very impressive 125 for 4 with the time to spare, balls to spare. Mainly thanks to O'Brien's 58 and Fu making 23 towards the end. So winning by six wickets. Right, it's time to join Shafali. All right, I'm with the star of the night, Kevin O'Brien. Kevin, you almost completed your, uh, you know, 58 runs. Like, you've completed your half century. You were on fire with the bat today. Uh, yeah, it's always nice to get off to a good start in a, in a tournament and I've been lucky to do that. So um, obviously the last couple of games has been good, consistently helping the team get a good score. So it's important we got two points today. Would have liked to finish it a little bit quicker for the run rate, but uh, it gives us a chance on Monday. Your team was fire with the bat and with the ball. Rahul did a great job with the ball today and you with the bat and is down to target really quick. Yeah, it was good. another good team effort. I think the bowlers have bowled brilliantly the last two games. Um, and we feel a little bit better today than we did the previous match, so, uh, but still we can improve on that. So a lot to improve before Monday. Hopefully we can get another win and, and work our way up with the run rate. Mm -hmm. And this um, win brings you one step closer to the top two spots. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So we, we've got a chance on Monday. We've got to play another good game of cricket mm -hmm. um, and obviously try and win it as quickly as we can if we bat our ball first. So, uh, yeah, it's all obviously going to come down to run rate. But we've given ourselves a chance by winning today, so it's good. All right, I wish you all the best for the next match. Thank, Thank you, you, Kevin. But I'll thanks. go back to the comms. Thanks. Thank you, Shafali. Great to hear Kevin Bryan with his thoughts. He talks about the run rate, the net run rate. They're equal with Punjab Royal now with six, and the two sides of the top strikers and giants still on eight points. They are looking pretty at this point. I will be heading off to a break and we'll be back shortly with you for the post-match presentation. So the Candy Sampami winning quite easily by six wickets with 13 balls to spare, making 125 for four to Punjab Royals 120 for six. So we're ready with the post-match presentation. Let's join Alan Wilkins. Yes, welcome to the post-match presentation of the Magic Win Sports Legends uh, Cricket Trophy Season 
two here uh, our uh, uh, VIP party alongside me. I'd like to thank our partners first of all, Arc Developers, Star Sports, Bally's Entertainment and Yeti. So let's go on to our first uh, award. It's the Magic Win Sports Player of the Match. Check for $500 and an N7 real estate goodie box will be presented by Prince Tucker of Arc Developers. Prince, would you give the uh, check and the box, the goodie box, to Kevin O'Brien? From the Candy Sump Army, Kevin with that uh, blistering 58. So Kevin O'Brien winning the Magic Win Sports Player of the Match Award. Our next award, the Electric Wicket Award of 500 US dollars presented by Mr. Imtiaz, team owner of the Punjab Royal. And it's Rahul Shukla, 3 for 18. Well bowled, Rahul. Thank you, Mr. Imtiaz, team owner of the Punjab Royal. And finally, uh, the uh, Maximum Sixes Award, check for 500 US dollars, presented by Mr. Amit Patel, alongside team owner of the Candy Sump Army. And once again, Kevin O'Brien. Come on up, Kevin. Three sixes, three big ones. So Kevin O'Brien receives that award from Mr. Amit Patel. And that's our awards and presentation. So that indeed is the end of the games today. But uh, don't go to, I mean, don't worry. We're coming back tomorrow because let me first show you the points table. New York Strikers right on top. Dubai Giants and Rajasthan Kings, they're all vying for those top two places. Candy Sump Army, they have uh, played five games and got six points. But Punjab Royal, they're not looking good with the other two also not winning anything. So that's the story from here. We hope you enjoyed the cricket today. Two more games coming up tomorrow. That is Colombo Lions taking on the Delhi Devils. That's the first